Once upon a time in a small village nestled in the mountains, there lived a young monk named Covey. Covey was known for his intellect and deep contemplation. He had a habit of overthinking every little aspect of his life. Whether it was a decision as simple as what to wear or as complex as his purpose in life, Covey's mind was constantly tangled in a web of thoughts. His overthinking had become his ultimate enemy. One sunny morning, Covey decided to take a walk through the forest surrounding the village. As he strolled amidst the lush greenery, he stumbled upon an ancient Buddhist temple. Intrigued by its serene presence, he decided to step inside and seek solace from his chaotic mind. Inside the temple, Covey found an old monk named Akihiro, who had spent decades mastering the art of mindfulness and inner peace. Covey approached Akihiro, pouring his heart out about his struggles with overthinking. The wise old monk listened attentively, his eyes twinkling with empathy. My dear Covey, Akihiro began, overthinking is like a swarm of restless bees in your mind. They prevent you from experiencing the present moment fully and rob you of your inner peace. But fear not, for there is a way to tame these buzzing thoughts. Intrigued, Covey leaned closer eager to learn the secret of controlling his mind. Akihiro smiled gently and began to share a captivating story. In a distant land there once lived a young artist named Sora. Sora was incredibly talented, but she doubted her abilities constantly. Her mind would race with thoughts of judgment and comparison, stifling her creativity. One day, a wise Buddhist monk named Haruki noticed her struggle and decided to offer his guidance. Haruki took Sara to a tranquil garden filled with blooming flowers and flowing streams. He handed her a small brush and a jar of ink. Paint what you see and feel, he said. Sora hesitated, her mind flooded with doubts. But then she took a deep breath, closed her eyes, and let go of all her thoughts. As she opened her eyes, a sense of calm washed over Sora. With each brush stroke, she let her intuition guide her hand, free from the shackles of overthinking. The beauty of her creation unfolded before her eyes, and Sara realized that she was the creator of her own limitations. Covey's eyes widened with awe as he listened to the tale. He saw the reflection of his own struggles in Sora's journey. Akihiro continued, Covey, the first step to overcoming overthinking is to be aware of your thoughts. Observe them without judgment, like watching clouds passing by in the sky. Instead of identifying with every thought that arises, simply let them come and go, recognizing that they do not define you. The second step is to practice mindfulness. Bring your attention to the present moment by focusing on your breath or the sensations in your body. When you are fully present, you can detach yourself from the constant stream of thoughts that pull you into overthinking. Lastly, embrace self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself and remember that everyone makes mistakes. When overthinking takes hold, remind yourself that you are human, and it's okay to have moments of doubt. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Covey's eyes sparkled with newfound hope as he absorbed Akihiro's wisdom. He thanked the old monk profusely and left the temple with a lighter heart. From that day forward, Covey embarked on a journey to conquer his overthinking. With each passing day, he became more adept at observing his thoughts without getting entangled in them. He practiced mindfulness diligently, finding solace in the simple act of breathing and being fully present. And whenever his mind wandered into the labyrinth of overthinking, he gently brought himself back to the present moment. As Covey continued on his path of self-discovery, he realized that the key to conquering overthinking lay within himself. He discovered that his thoughts were not facts, but mere illusions created by his restless mind. With this newfound understanding, he became the master of his thoughts rather than their slave. Over time, Covey noticed a profound transformation within himself. He no longer felt overwhelmed by the constant chatter of his mind. Instead, he embraced the stillness and clarity that came from taming his overthinking. His newfound peace radiated through his interactions with others. Covey became a source of inspiration and guidance for those who struggled with their own minds. He shared the wisdom he had learned, 
teaching others the art of letting go and finding inner peace. Through the power of storytelling and sharing his own journey, Covey touched the hearts of many. People from far and wide sought his counsel, drawn to his ability to guide them out of the labyrinth of overthinking and into the serenity of the present moment. And so, the tale of Covey, the young monk who conquered overthinking, spread throughout the land. His story became a symbol of hope and a reminder that the mind, when trained, can become a powerful ally rather than an enemy. As the villagers listened to Covey's story, they too felt a glimmer of possibility within themselves. Inspired by his words, they resolved to incorporate simple steps into their own lives to control their minds. And so, they began by cultivating awareness, observing their thoughts without judgment. They practiced mindfulness, grounding themselves in the present moment, and letting go of the worries that plagued their minds. They embraced self-compassion, treating themselves with kindness and understanding when overthinking threatened to take hold. With each passing day, the villagers felt the burden of overthinking lift from their shoulders. Their lives became filled with greater joy, creativity, and connection. They realized that the power to control their minds and find peace lay within their grasp. And so, dear friends, remember that you too have the ability to conquer overthinking. Take a moment to observe your thoughts, be present in the here and now, and shower yourself with kindness. Embrace the simplicity of these steps, for they hold the key to unlocking the freedom of a mind at peace. May you embark on your own journey of self-discovery, transcending the limitations of overthinking and embracing the beauty of the present moment.